Cinderella's cake will be a double layer cake with one cake flavored with fresh raspberry and the other cake with a rose cream. It will be topped with a beautiful ballerina and surrounded by edible roses. That sounds lovely, Cinderella. Good luck. This cake would have been my dream come true. Snow White's rainbow kid cake will be two layers, one with a fresh strawberry filling and the next with a cotton candy flavor. It will be topped with a sugar rainbow sculpture and surrounded by gum paste flowers. All right, best of luck to you, Snow White. I love the color and the ballerina theme. Yes, I love the sugar flowers. Very well done. And Bye. this layer is cotton candy. It's baked very well. So the but... winner of the birthday cake challenge is the ballerina cake. And welcome to the Great Princess Bake Off. I'm your host, Prince Hollywood. And I'm Fairyberry, and thank you for joining us for the season finale. All right, bakers, it's time for the showstopper challenge. For this challenge, we want you to create an afternoon tea fit for a queen. You must include a baked element, such as scones, bread, or muffins, a pastry element, which will include tiny miniature individual cakes, and a savory element, such as sandwiches. Bakers, you have exactly three and a half hours. Ready, set, strawberries and blueberries. What are you making? I'm doing something a little different for afternoon tea. Traditionally, you would have scones with afternoon tea, but I'm making strawberry and blueberry muffins. It's my grandmother's recipe. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hi, Snow White. Can you tell us more about what you're making? I'm using a very traditional recipe for English fruit scones. I'm just now making the dough. The challenge was afternoon tea fit for a queen, and I happen to know that the queen loves scones. Well, I know I love scones. I'll let you carry on with your baking. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. 
you've baked your muffins. They smell amazing. Yes, I'm very happy with how they've turned out. I hope the judges like them. What are you making now? I'm just piping out my macarons. They're strawberry and passion fruit. Oh, that sounds great. Well, keep calm and carry on. Mmm, something smells really good here, Snow White. I've baked fresh bread for my tea sandwiches. I'm just now slicing it. Oh, may I have a taste? Sure, here's a slice. Oh, wow. That's even better than Prince Hollywood's bread. I'll have to give you a handshake. You know that handshake doesn't count. <laughs> I'm the only one who can give out a handshake. No, fairy. I'm a bit concerned about the size of Cinderella's muffin. Yes, Prince, I agree. Afternoon tea is supposed to be very delicate and delicious, tiny delicacies. There are many things to eat. Yes, and if you ate the muffin, you'd be too full to eat anything else. Yes, did you see Snow White's scones? They are way too big again. Afternoon tea is all about dainty, dainty, dainty. Her bread did look quite delicious, though. Bakers, you have 30 minutes remaining. takes me right back to my childhood. My nan always made me cucumber sandwiches. On the lower level, I've made strawberry and blueberry muffins, fresh fruit tarts, and strawberry passion fruit macarons. Hmm, it is very delicious, but I'm afraid it's not quite dainty enough for afternoon tea. It's my granny's recipe, and she always wanted to make sure that you didn't leave her house hungry. <laughs> that is one perfect macaron. Snow White, tell us about what you've made for the final challenge of the Bake Off. Well, I've made three types of tea sandwiches. Egg salad topped with parsley, tomato mozzarella topped with basil, and turkey with onion chutney. And I baked my own bread from scratch and cut off the crusts, of course. Mmm, this egg salad is well seasoned and delicious. The tomato mozzarella is scrumptious. I could eat the whole thing. I've also made fruit scones and fresh strawberries and cream tartlets. This scone has a nice crumb and is very moist and delicious. Maybe a bit too large for afternoon tea, however. This tartlet tastes as if it were from the finest patisserie in France. And finally, I made some dark chocolate truffles. Very well done. This is going to be a very difficult decision. Dolly Dreamland viewers, would you like to help Prince Hollywood and Fairy Berry decide which baker should win the Great Princess Bake Off? Here's how you can vote. If you'd like to vote for Cinderella as the winner, 
hit the subscribe button right now. All right, now if you'd like to vote for Snow White as the winner, you can hit the subscribe button right now. We will count the votes and add them to the judge's decisions. What a difficult decision! Both bakers did extremely well. Yes, the only flaw was Cinderella's muffins were way too large, and Snow White's scones were also way too large. But they were both perfectly baked and tasted delicious. And is too large of a muffin or scone really a bad thing? I think that we're going to make our decision based on what the Dolly Dreamland viewers think. All right, we've added up the votes, and here's the vote count. Really? That's never happened before. What should we do? Bring in our bakers. We have our decision. Bakers, you've both done an exceptional job and have proven to be star bakers. And now I will announce the winner. For the first time in Great Princess Bake Off history, we have had a tie. And since both of you were so outstanding, we've decided to crown you both as winners of the Great Princess Bake Off. Congratulations! Oh, oh, oh. I now crown you both Princesses of the Great Princess Bake Off. And that concludes this season of The Great Princess Bake Off. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!